And say it again. No, I was saying it's it's about what what these competing philosophies are about what life is and what it's about and where you know who who has the power and who gets the uh, the you know the gratitude and who's the giver of life and 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 uh, rights and these there's a there's a whole lot of people who have a, a completely different philosophical viewpoint on that and that's manifesting itself in the way that the banking system works the way government works and uh it, the way a whole all these things work i think at the end of it, it it's there's really a philosophical point of view that overlays the banking cartel the whole way that we that we that we feel entitled to other people's stuff the way that we uh our our, our individualism is taken away and they see life as a collective journey it's it, it's completely bastardizing what is true and real and 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 what i think is at the core of the human experience tad i'd never talked to you before i'd seen a clip of you on the politano show on fox but i'm i'm in i'm, I'm impressed uh, because you really get it, and you're really articulate, probably m more so than I am. I hope uh, sometime when I'm out of town, you'll host the nightly news for us uh, via Skype, uh, because uh, you, 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 I mean, you've really got a piercing understanding of this. And think about what a hoax it is that there's always been subterfuge and Byzantine court intrigue and corruption and Machiavelli manipulation. And somehow in the last 50 years, they taught people that none of that's going on. And it's crazy to even question it when all the founders, Thomas Jefferson, but other philosophers and historians, that's all they ever talked about. That's all the world's ever been about. I mean, our ancestors in any country just 50, 60 years ago all knew this. When I was a little kid, it was always, oh, that crazy old man, he thinks there's a world government and the banks are out to get you. He doesn't trust the system. By the time I was a child, it was the crazy old man and those folks died off. They were just the common sense normal people that had lived in the real world. And people are going to get the common sense now because the system has gotten so out of control because we've laid down to it, it's going to hurt us badly. I want to play this final clip and come back and give you the final word. But bottom line, folks... This is a film tailor-made to make learning the truth entertaining and fun. American Dream, get it today. We'll go to this final clip with a classic Jekyll Island meeting. This meeting really happened. Here it is in cartoon form. I am clearly the richest man, so I should be the one to run the super-secret central bank. I own all the oil in America. I'm clearly richer than you will ever be, hula girl. I should run the super-secret central bank. You're nothing compared to me, lube job. I shall run the secret bank. Silence! Supreme Master Leader, I didn't know you were gonna be here. I'm not. Neither are you. None of you shall run the bank. We have failed in the past because of openness. This time, the key to success is secrecy. The people must believe that they run the bank. Yes, brilliant! We shall christen it Federal. The Federal Reserve. <laughs> they take our property away right in front of our eyes, just like Thomas Jefferson said they would. What's that? Oh, they found us. Quick, a sword! What sword? We don't need your banking machine. I'll condemn you to die, damn it. Die! Bogey on my nine. I'll take him at his knees! Well, Tad, uh, again, obviously you're great filmmakers and now talking to you for the first time here face to face. Uh, and, 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 and my viewers know I don't just kiss up to folks. I'm really impressed and it feels good and reassuring to know that there's so many great people like yourself out there and that they cannot stop us together. Our individualism is unstoppable. Ideas are bulletproof. Final comments or points you'd like to make about American Dream as the director? Um, well, I just, you know, what I tell people is, is that the, 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 the revolution's got to start uh, with a philosophical and uh, uh, point of view first. And, you know, we made this for people who are your committed listeners, who I know that that group of people is, 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 uh, are people who believe in this movement and, and are frustrated by what's going on. And we made it so that each of your listeners could go give it to 10 of their friends 
and say, hey, you know all the stuff I've been telling you for years, all the books I've handed you, the Ron Paul, the 300 pages that sit on your nightstand and you never read, well, just give me 30 minutes to watch this. And we're hoping that that will then spark some type of question in what's going on. Give it to your friends who are who are adamant, you know, lefties who think that the state is going to cure all their ills because a lot of it is truly ignorance. They think they think the government's the good guy and the private sector is the bad guy when it's like, no, the problem is corruption and collusion and and these people hijacking both in this perverted form of, of you know, pseudo, uh, you know, pseudo uh, private sector state uh, apparatus that's grown up. And I think anyone who's frustrated when they understand the ideas of liberty and understand that liberty, individual liberty, is what will set you free and will give people the most amount of prosperity and let them live. And in every case in history, Tad, it's liberty that produces inventions and happiness and empowerment. We are all individuals. We all have different gifts. And the globalists are attacking that Again, they have this crony capitalistic fascistic system that collectivizes yep. our wealth, then steals it for themselves. It's mega corporations working with big government to shut down their competition. And that idea transcends all this fake left right garbage. Tad, great job with the film American Dream. I look forward to speaking to you again in the near future. Yes, thanks for having us on and thanks for all your help, Alex. God bless you, my friend. Amazing work. When's the next film coming out? Um, well, actually, we're working on something right now. We we have we have kind of a big idea in store, so we're going to uh, we're almost finished with the script. We're hoping that about a year we can get get this thing done. I would like to talk to you privately and just uh, hear what this big idea is because it's it might be something I might be able to help out with. Absolutely. All right, we'll talk to you soon. I definitely want to get you on the radio so we can have a hour long discussion. God bless, man. Love to you too. Thanks so much. Thank you. Wow, it is exciting to talk to people out there, artists. Who are focused, passionate, intelligent, and on the move against tyranny. Nothing can stop us together. By the way, if you want to get a copy of it and support myself and their operation and have a good DVD so you can get it out to people, go to InfoWars.com. It's American Dream. We also have a deal with our gold and silver sponsor, Minus Resources, where you get two silver dollars at cost and then free shipping, a free Mark Dice book on Big Brother Orwellian Takeover, and the American Dream DVD, free on top of it. Look for those banners at the top of InfoWars.com. We're going to go to break, and we're going to come right back to get into what's happening in the economy, what the banksters uh, are uh, currently doing, and we're going to talk to Paul Craig Roberts. Stay with us. It's InfoWars Nightly News. It is a big idea, a new world order. In the near future, Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? For thousands of years, their Dark Order grew. Now, as they hail the birth of the New World Order, their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. First time in history, the elite's plan for world government is blown wide open. You will learn the secret that drives the entire New World Order agenda. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government, and only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. Alex, it's Chalabi, eh? For the first time, all the pieces have been put together. The dots have been connected, and the picture is crystal clear. Earth's ruling elite believe they have discovered the fountain of youth. But before they can attain it, 80% of us must die. A psychopathic technocracy is establishing world government so there can be no escape from their plan. The new world order is the old world order. I mean, it's just the names have changed, the appearances have changed. Most people have no idea. They're not after money. They have all the money they need. They're after power. That's their aphrodisiac. I was pulled out of the plane in Munich. They interrogated me in four hours. Some shots were fired. I need you to move off the property. Their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. Endgame. Blueprint for global enslavement. 
you have been warned. Obama is notoriously a liar. We need to go to where the real architecture of government is, and it's not in a president. Wall Street has hijacked Washington in broad daylight. Well, Obama's already fudging. Yeah, He's fudged since day one in this election. The elite are using Obama to pacify the public so they can usher in the North American Union by stealth, launch a new Cold War, and continue the occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan. The globalists are outside all the nations. That gives them safety, and they play countries off against each other. You've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way. What they're doing is using the existence of the United States to act out their Wall Street fantasies of world domination and maintaining their capital structures and maintaining their system of looting. The fight that this country has been waging since its inception is for the central bankers not to take over the country. President Barack Obama is only the tool of a larger agenda. Senator Obama had a desire to do some meetings. Others have a desire to meet with him tonight in a private way, and that's what we're doing. Presidential candidate Barack Obama was publicly criticizing the North American Free Trade Agreement in a bid for votes, but privately telling Canadian officials not to worry about it. If you talk to our generals, they are desperate for is a civilian uh, counterpart to our military force. What do you call this thing where you get this false sense of gratification, but because a black man is in office, everything's going to be all right? No, everything's not going to be all right. So I know how unpopular it is to be seen as helping banks right now, especially when everyone is suffering in part from their bad decisions. I promise you, I get it. The Obama deception. The truth strikes back. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The American Dream. There's a reason they call it a dream. <laughs> Who's there? Cockadoodle doo, pal. No, 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 no! I don't have any more money! My job sucks right now, please! I'll have more money next month! You can't take my house! Is that your signature? It is a private bank owned by private stockholders. A, a, a private bank? Do not let the name Federal fool you. If I got this money from the bank, and the bank got it from the Federal Reserve dump traps, where does the Federal Reserve get their money? They take our property away, just like Thomas Jefferson said they would. Those sons of bitches! It's the greatest theft in human history.